All right, guys, welcome back to another video here on YouTube. My name is Marcus. You're watching Nama Chan Vlogs. Let's get today started. So, title and thumbnail state that we bought another motor for the hatch. Yes, it is true. I'm not trying to clickbait you guys at all. Um, I'm going to give you guys some hints right now. We're going to go to the engine bay real quick. Let me show you guys. So, this is what the engine bay is looking like right now. We're already starting all the process. We already pulled out the motor, the B-Series motor, which is a non b tank motor. We have it on the outside of this door, but that doesn't matter. That's whatever. Um, let's get back to the motor. So, in here is one clue to... Um, what motor we are swapping into the hatch. So that's the first clue. Second clue, it's a VTEC motor. Third clue, it's never been in this engine bay in this car. Um, with that being said, okay, we're gonna move on to it in just a minute. But right now, this is what the engine bay looks like right now. We have a lot of grinding, sanding, uh, cutting, and uh, that's what it looks like so far. So we, like I said, I got a lot more to do, but um, we are halfway there, guys. So, um. Stay tuned for the future because this thing is going to look super fucking clean. I promise you guys that. More content coming soon. Let me turn on this light real quick. So, yeah, more content coming soon for this thing. So, just stay tuned. Did not want to bore you guys with all the sanding and stuff. But we are going to um, show you guys one thing that we're going to do here, which is right here on the side of me. So, you guys can see here, Harbor Freight, uh, Chicago uh, Electric Wilding Flux 125 Wilder, which we bought yesterday we also got a helmet for it we got some sanding materials here and some gloves right there from vulcan that way we could uh wild up everything in here we're going to use some sheet metal cover up everything we're going to make some templates um get all this covered up here make it look nice sleek and clean and smooth that way um when we put the motor in she has a good new home that she's going to be dropped into and she will love for her for her life so um i don't know how long her life is going to be in here but um yes this is the engine bay right now and we're gonna throw that motor in here and make it look nice and clean and pristine but um that's what's going on here you guys saw the materials we got here now let's move on to the good stuff Alright guys, so that is the motor right there. It's the K20A2 RSX Type S motor with a matching transmission, 6 speed transmission, non LSD, unfortunately. Um, I do want to get an LSD for it in the future. Don't know exactly when, so don't quote me on that because I don't even know myself. Um, reason we went with this motor is because I could not pass it up. I saw a really, really good deal on the marketplace and uh, you guys will not believe me when I say I went, click, um, DM the person and the person ended up being my homie from uh, middle school. So um, hit them up. We went along with a little chit chat real quick. I asked him what's good. He told me to come through, see it. I went and then he was starting to have some doubts. Um, doubts went through his mind. Should I sell it? Should I not? It was a really, really good deal. So like I said, I could not pass it up. Um, motor came with a transmission harness, um, the shifter, and it came with um, cables as well. It also came with the ECU. And I think that's it. And, and, oh, and the harness. I don't know if I mentioned that as well. Harness is right here behind me. And um, also it came with another car. So it came with another car with a motor in it. All I needed was a timing belt tensioner and a uh, water pump and I got it all done. So uh, stay tuned for a future video and I'll show you guys what car I bought as well. So um, yeah, it was a deal I could not pass up. So anyway, uh, went, picked it. Well, I went, I was gonna pick it up. Had issues with that. So um, he dropped it off. I think I have a couple clips if I have them. Um, there was a lot of a lot of erased data that I had. I don't know what happened, what went on with my SD cards, but um, a lot of footage was erased. A lot of footage that I had was erased. So if I have the footage, I will show you guys. If not, let's move on. Um, that was the motor of choice right there, guys. It's sitting right there. We're going to start to make it look nice and pretty. Um, I bought a bunch of parts back here that are back here in all these boxes right here. So stay tuned for future videos on installs on that. Um, also, the hatch is getting all the work done on it. We have a lot more sanding to do, so I'm going to start sanding more right now. Um, I don't want to bore you guys with any of that stuff. So we're going to keep sanding, keep getting it ready for um, all the welding that we're going to do. Showed you guys the welder as well. We're going to do it in-house. Um, it's all going to be like sheet metal. Make it look nice, clean, flat, and smooth. That way, um, when it... When the K-Series does go in, um, it looks nice and pretty in there and it has a good new home to go into. Nice and pretty, you know, because no one wants to go into a shitty old home. But, um, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Let me know if you guys are excited down in the comments down below because I'm super, super, super excited. Always wanted a K-Series for the hatch and uh, finally going to make it possible. Also, uh, hatch is going to have AC again. It's going to have heater and that way we are good to go wherever we want to go with the kids because they love this car. Um, yeah, with that being said, guys. 
let's wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited, like I said. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Peace.